What makes you think that I'm an answer if you ain't mine? Even if you call All right, by popular demand, we back. God damn. Okay, guys, uh, I'm here, but I ain't here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, yo, bitch, trash, buns, cheeks. You know what I'm saying? My whole body hurt. I'm sick. You know what I'm saying? I'm sick as hell, and I ain't going to lie to you. I don't want to be that guy. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be that guy, but I've been sick ever since I was with that girl on Friday night. <laughs> Oops. God damn. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been sick. I don't know what happened, but I'm, you know what I'm saying? Ever since she left, I've been sick as hell. So uh, before we get into it, guys, we got to um, eat our vegetables. Um, I was contemplating for a few days on whether or not I actually wanted to make this a single video, but I can't really stretch this out over a whole video. So I just figured I'd make it one of our subtopics. Oh my gosh. Star Wars The Acolyte is so bad. It's getting roasted by sex workers. Hell no. To the no, no, no. Hell to the no. You know what I'm saying? Adult actress from the movie Star Wars, Princess Lei, had a hot take on The Acolyte. Just watch The Acolyte, and I think I can officially say I've been in better written Star Wars movies. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> God damn it. You can't make this shit up. Yo. Giddy. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> yo, that is insane. That is fucking insane. Getting roasted by a, a, a literal sex worker. How, how did you do that? How do you? This is her? Uh-oh. Y'all know what this means. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. <laughs> Let me suck some titties, baby. Oh, 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 yeah. Let me suck some titties, baby. Let me suck some titties, baby. I'm home. You get what I'm saying? Like, come on now. If y'all would have put her in the show, niggas might have watched that shit. Anyway, moving on. Okay, guys, the squabble shop is open. Okay. Um, if you want to be a squabbler, you gotta learn how to squabble. Get yourself a t-shirt, water, uh, bottle, uh, coffee mug, all that good stuff. Um, you know, we got a lot going on. And, you know, let's, let's get to it. All right. Uh, a live show every Friday, except this past weekend. I was so fucked up, guys. I couldn't, I couldn't even get a show done. I've been sick. I I I was drunk. Then hungover, then sick. Like, I couldn't believe it. Anyway, let's move on to the main topic. Um, so, where are we at? So, guys, Concord, I mean, I know we've said this a thousand times before, but Concord is a game that I've never seen as dead on arrival as Concord. Like, this is rivaling the Marvels, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, you made a game for modern audience. For a modern gaming audience. For a modern gaming audience. For a modern gaming audience. God damn. <laughs> and this is the result. Concord fails to crack Steam's 750 most wishlisted games after disappointing beta. Currently at number 80 fucking one. Most wishlisted is Black Myth Wukong. <laughs> Yes sir. yes, sir. Despite the fact that IGN and the Guardian want to ruin this this game's reputation so bad, I got news for you. I got fucking news for you, nigga. It ain't gonna work. I'm gonna dance on you. I'm gonna go ahead and dance on you real quick. Let me get my song out. One more song. Use a dumb bitch. 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 Don't know how to spend your money. Uh, Use uh. a dumb bitch. Use a dumb bitch. You wanna act? You get what I'm saying? Dumb motherfuckers. Dumb motherfuckers. Y'all finna look real stupid. Gamers finna make y'all look real stupid. Concord is dead on fucking arrival, nigga. Look at this. Even Insider Gaming Network is talking about this shit. Concord's beta hasn't been a huge success for Firewalk Studios. It fell flat on its face on the Steam. The number one storefront and launcher platform on PC drawing in just a few thousand players. Now, the dust has settled following the end of the beta phase. We can confirm that nobody wants to wishlist this game, indicating that the beta didn't hit the spot with, with gamers anywhere. Okay? Anywhere. All right, congratulations. 
You played yourself. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations. Congratulations. You played yourself. That's what you get. The DEI shooter is a failure before it even dropped. We don't even have to wait for the numbers. This shit is trash. Concord is a premium, which means it has a price tag. Shooter from Firewalk Studios that's being released on PlayStation and PC next month. Presently, just 4,129 people have wishlisted the game on Steam, which is poultry, which is a poultry figure. All right. To put that into perspective, here are the wishlist numbers for some other upcoming titles. Stalker 2, Arena Breakout, Kingdom Come, Dragon Age, State of Decay. Okay. I mean, look, look at these games. It was recently revealed that Concord won't have a battle pass, but it will have cosmetic-based microtransactions. That's something of a win for players, but it's not enough good news to drive up the hype for the upcoming shooter. Concord was revealed during Sony's PlayStation, uh, latest PlayStation showcase, but it didn't turn too many heads for once. Oh, it turned heads. It, it turned heads in the wrong way. That game showed its face, and the whole industry was like... <laughs> You get what I'm saying? I mean, look at now. Now, oh, I, I went to that too early. Now, I want to talk about Marvel Rivals. I'm still on this. Marvel Rivals. I've been playing it, guys. And Marvel Rivals. I won't sit up here and tell you with a straight face that I know for a fact it's better than Concord because I haven't played Concord. So I'm not gonna sit up here and lie to you and gaslight you. But Marvel Rivals is far more interesting. Okay, I, I, I'm not gonna sit up here and say I love this game, but based on what I've played. So far, Marvel Rivals hits that Marvel sweet spot in a shooter way, in a, in a hero shooter way. Now, I am not a hero shooter expert. So I don't know what's in this game that hero shooter gamers probably dislike. Everything that I've experienced so far has been, you know, pretty good. Am I trash at the game? Absolutely. fucking loot. Yeah, yeah, I am. I'm trash. <laughs> <laughs> but I know how to compartmentalize and understand that just because I'm trash doesn't mean a game is bad. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing niggas with 30 kills, and I'm getting excited about eight kills. Like, how the fuck this nigga get 30 kills? I love the Punisher. Iron Man plays like how he plays, how he should play. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm learning about, not learning, but I'm being introduced to these new characters in the MCU that I knew nothing about that I actually liked, like Magic. Love her and her sword. I'm trash with her, though. Like, I'm absolutely trash. So... It's going to blow everyone's mind when this game from NetEase, like who the fuck is NetEase, is going to outperform Concord, a game who has Sony backing it. By the way, if I'm not mistaken, Concord is coming out on PC and PlayStation. I don't believe Marvel, I don't believe Marvel Rivals, and there's the Steam numbers. Keep in mind, these Steam numbers, this is a closed beta. You got to get a key. The most recent beta for Concord was open. So Marvel Rivals. Oh my goddamn nose. Marvel Rivals uh Rivals uh platforms. I believe it's only on PC. Oh no no no. Oh, okay, I, I stand corrected. It's actually gonna be on the Series X and the PS5. Okay. Okay. All right. You stupid. Okay. So I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the, uh, in the comments. Do you believe that um, Marvel Rivals is going to outperform Concord? Let me know. I'll talk to y'all later. As for, as for Concord, welcome to hell. Welcome to hell, motherfucker!